<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hard Leg Joe. Today we're looking at Christron Advantage 2018. As brought to you by Patreon sponsor Smash, who graciously allowed me to play one of my favorite decks. Uh, if you, you didn't see my last episode, Christron's quickly stolen my heart. They're one of the few toolbox decks that's still viable in the modern age. And I've been eager to play them again since Master Rule 4 came out, but I, I didn't really want to because of Christron Needle Fiber, the Christron Link. Uh, it's still not out in the TCG, even though it's been in Japan for, I think, eight months now. And I was worried that if I made a Christron deck without it, they would release Needle Fiber soon, and then this deck list would be useless to everyone. And if I made it with Needle Fiber and they didn't release it for like a year, then this would be useless to anyone who actually wants to play Christrons in the TCG. So I was holding off, but the power of a Patreon request, the power of money, has gotten me to do it anyway. And we're doing the TCG version, no Needle Fiber or whatever its TCG name is going to end up being. Which is probably for the best, because a lot of people are saying that when it does come out, Needle Fiber might be banned or limited. So you know the way I figure either way, it's good now, and then if Needle Fiber gets hit, you can always revert back to this way, because at least it works in Master Rule 4. Now if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video there. I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works. In this video, we're going to be playing it in 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you all the combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, first duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Smash, who again is the same gentleman who graciously donated to support this episode. Thanks to him down in the comments. And we're going up against Hart, which I assume is from Italy. Italia, if that's to believe. I believe these are, uh... These are, uh, uh, country markers. Oh, and we're going first, which is excellent. And we've got everything we need. Let's go ahead. We're going to go with Mathematician. These two both serve the same thing, which is to dump a monster into the grave. Hopefully we won't get... Oh, there we go. And that's why... <laughs> nope. That's why we went with Mathematician. Well, we are playing three called by the grave, specifically to stop stuff like that, but... We, we didn't open it, so sadly there's not much we can do. Uh, hopefully this will stop us from being OTK'd. Although we are playing against Cyber Dragons, which are known for their OTK ability. So, yeah, we may get stopped right away. <laughs> sadly. But I mean, that could happen with just about any deck. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, Christron's kind of reliant on their normal summon. Uh, you can do stuff without... Oh, wait, no, no, you pretty much need your normal summon, unless you open with, uh, the thing we're trying to get get to, which is Solfefnir. Solfefnir is, like, the main playmaker of the game, it's what allow or this, the deck, it's what allows you to get two monsters on the field, which is what you really need. And that's why we play Mathematician and Scrap Recycler, because both of these will let you get Solfefnir into the graveyard, which will let you uh, start your plays. So we get a draw, yay. And there's our Called by the Grave! One card too late. A sad state of affairs. But fortunately, we're not getting OTK'd. In fact, he's made probably one of the weakest boards I've seen Cyber Dragons do in a dog's age. Uh, but yeah, so Fefnir, you, you can get it to your hand or the graveyard. Uh, this can send it directly to the graveyard. This can actually send the Vistern to the graveyard. And then you can banish this from the graveyard to get uh, Solfefnir from your deck to your hand. As we had all, all the uh, Christrons, they have an effect on the field, which is pretty much the same for every non-tuner. And then they have an effect in the graveyard that you banish them to do a thing. So, either one, getting this into the graveyard or getting Solfefnir in the graveyard. Either way, we'll get your play started. And hopefully he's got no disruption, so we should be good to actually do our play. So first of all, like I said before, we're going to go ahead and scrap Recycler. You gonna try to do it again? I'm prepared this time! Not today! Get out of here with that shit. Playing all your hand traps. Nope. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put Solfefnir into the graveyard. 
Good old Solfep, if it's in the graveyard, you could discard a Crystron, special summon it, then destroy a card. You want to destroy itself, because when it's destroyed, it can summon a Crystron from the deck. Including itself, but you don't want to do that. What you want to do is get Turtle. Turtle's one of our main playmakers. Because you can use it to make your tuner. You need a two-star and another two-star. Let's put that in defensive mode. And then what we can do is use this, like I said, banish, and we're going to add a smogger. Smiger? Smiger. We're going to add a smiger for later. It's like a smoggy tiger. And then we're going to set lost wins. We're going to lose some wins here. And this is the real crux of Crystrons. If you don't know, I guess I didn't really explain it. Crystrons are all about synchro summoning during your opponent's turn. And we use, we use this uh, basically to synchro summon a bunch of monsters that have ignition effects. Normally, you can only summon them during your turn, so their use is limited. But here you can cause massive amounts of disruption by synchro summoning big things they don't want you to have. What you're going to find out here in a second. Actually, just to be safe while he's doing that, we're going to be like, okay. So Citri can grab a card from the graveyard, summon it, and then synchro with it. So that's why you need your, your level 2, because 2 and 2 makes 4, and we've got our 4-star tuner. Synchro tuner. The thing about Citri is she can only synchro summon machines, and this is a machine. Uh, but this will allow you to synchro summon anything. So we've got this 4 here, and we've got this 3. Now I'm no mathematician, he's in the graveyard, but 4 and 3, that equals 7. And there's a couple of 7-star synchros that are really nice to summon during your opponent's turn that would make them have kind of a bad day. So what we're going to do is wait for him to summon one more thing, because he can't do anything with these, and then we're going to see if we can make him have kind of a bad day. <laughs> now the important thing to remember, though, uh, because Black Rose is an older card, did I say I was going to summon Black Rose? I think I gave away the surprise. My apologies. Black Rose, there's a lot of cards we have that are older Synchro cards. And, um... Okay, he still can't make anything big, so we're going to be good. But all of these cards can miss the timing. Which is important... Pardon me. Because it means you can't chain their summon... You can't chain this effect that lets you Synchro to another effect. You've got to do it independently. Because if their summon happens as... Aw, oh, damn it. Why didn't I think about that? I'm a foolish fool! I completely forgot that Cyber Dragons have access to Khmer Fortress Dragon. And also, I'm all machines. I am just all machines. So they can just get rid of everything that I love. But he can't make things, so that's good. I'm gonna take that 2100. Uh, nope, we're good. And then when he attacks for 3,000, we're just going to go ahead and activate Lost Wind. And that's going to have its original attack. I thought it would negate its effects, and therefore its attack would go down to nothing, but I guess I was wrong in that case. Either way, we're taking significantly less damage. And now he's just got a Boral Load. Which means I get my Lost Wind back. And as I was saying before, a, a big plot part of this deck is summoning Black Rose Dragon. We play two of them. Which is why I play Bewildering Lost Wind. I still have the OCG name up there. Because that way if it goes to the graveyard, you get it back. You have a second chance to use it. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to use our Solfefnir again. We're going to discard Smiger. Hello. Goodbye. Um, and this time... What are we going to do, gentlemen? Uh, what we're going to do... We're just going to get a Thyvistern. And we're going to sit on it. Because we still need our turtle, and we've got our turtle. So we're going to summon our turtle. Our Turtigus. And that'll summon out this. Good old Citri, best girl. Um, and then, going to banish Smiger. That'll let us get a trap from our deck to our hand. Yay! Crystron Impact. Our only trap. It's a... It's a, uh, Crystron spell trap, but there are very few Crystron spell traps. I believe there's only two, and they're both traps. Um. Doing math, one second. Okay, and we're good. Again, this deck, like most of my favorite decks, uh, plays during your opponent's turn. 
So on your turn, you're just setting stuff up, and then you're waiting for things to happen. Um, and this time, we're not going to let him have some things. We're going to immediately summon this. Because he, oh, he, he might play another Chimera attack, and I just don't want him to have things. So he's going to summon a Cyber Dragon back. It can't be destroyed by card effects. And then what we're going to do is... Um, let's see. Christronic Impact. And we're going to bring our Tuner back. Good old Tuner Ballooner. And then we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two of them are tuners. If you want to summon another tuner, you can make a certain guy who's associated with things. But this time, I'm going for Quirion Gandrix. Which is a big 3,000. And when he's summoned, and fuck, I can't target his... I'm dumb. I should have gone for some... Okay, I'm dumb. Why am I so dumb? It's fine. We're gonna just... We're just gonna banish his stuff. You can banish three cards from his field or graveyard. I forgot that it targets. I could have I could have summoned something that didn't target. But I got excited because I could actually make a nine star, which is not something you could do all the time. There we go. Um, let's see. You cannot target. Opponent cannot activate. Um. Monster effects. Okay, so I can still target it with b Bewildering Winds. Granted, he can lower me by 500, but that's not going to do all that much. And this is a machine, too. Yep, I should have I should have made the other level 9, the one that I was talking about. I don't know why, why I'm trying to hide. It's Trishula. I could have made Trishula. He's on the sleeves for a reason. He's a bit, he doesn't target. I would have been able to banish this and something out of his graveyard and something out of his hand, and then I also wouldn't have a machine that I could, I could do something about. Or that he could just, you know, get rid of with, with effects. Not effects. With tributing. Mega Fleet Dragon. As it stands, I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead, and it's my own fault for making big mistakes. Um, yeah, I'm just going to right now just be like, I'm going to block that because otherwise I'm taking all the damage. And he didn't chain. Interesting. Maybe he'll actually run over me. He will run over me. Interesting choice. I assume, and then he's going to summon, uh, whatchamacallit, after the fact? No, he's just going to do it now. He just wanted to get that out of the way, even though he could have, oh wait, no, he couldn't have absorbed it. Okay, now I'm taking all the damage. And I am almost dead. And I don't think I can play through Cyber Dragon Infinite. No, I am dead. Damn it. Fuck, man. I could have been a I could have been a contender. I could have done great things. If I had made Trishula, this would have been a different thing. He would have had something out of his hand. He might have still been able to do this. Unfortunately, it's it's kind of a mishmash just against Cyber Dragons in general, because I'm playing machine deck. He can just Chimera Fleet Chimera Tech my entire field. I still had a chance. I just didn't I just couldn't do it. So, a sad state of affairs, but you saw some interesting plays, and hopefully, I'll do much better against non-Cyber Dragons in the next duel. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are, second duel versus Dante Algiri. Always want to go first with this deck, because you rely on disrupting your opponent. I believe that's the name of the guy from Dante's Inferno. Could be mistaken, hopefully I'm not mistaken. And we started with Solfefnir, which is always good. It means we can just immediately discard Smiger, summon, blow up, get a thing. Um, let's go ahead and go for the turtle, even though we got a turtle in hand. Turtle will put itself in the graveyard to summon Citri, who's our big playmaker because she can actually synchro summon. And then we just... Hmm, ha, hmm. Yeah, normal summon the Vistern. And then we're going to banish Smiger and get our trap. 
just deck thinning in the movie the game because we got some very important spell traps and you can deck thin pretty quickly with this deck considering you go through a whole bunch of cards just dumping them into the graveyard and yeah that's every non-tuner has the ability to destroy a card on the field and summon out a tuner we just play the one tuner there are a couple of them but for this build I found it was better especially in master rule 4 where you need to have links and stuff to just sort of go for that and he's playing pre-prep alrighty then herald of perfection I'm not liking that um I need to look at my extra deck oh that's your graveyard extra deck Ah, there we go. Um, what does this guy do again? Um, if this card battles an opponent's monster, but it doesn't have enough attack to get over that thing. What we need is something that can get over Herald. We could stop Herald from being a Herald. Um, but I don't think we have anything like that at the moment that we have access to. So I think what might be best... Oh, I don't, I don't have an effect I want to activate. Well, I do, but... is to just go for the style points. Just get something out there that we can do something against. There we go. Ooh, and Cyber Angels as well. All right. That changes things up again. Well, here, let's just go ahead and activate this anyway. We'll get our level two. And then we'll wait for him to activate his ritual spell. See which one he activates. If he summons Herald, we might be in for some trouble. If he doesn't, then we can make some trouble of our own. I'm just hoping he can pitch something into the graveyard so that when we do summon Trishula, we can get rid of a resource of his. And hopefully I can get the timing right. Oh wait, no, if I chain it, then he won't be able to... Hmm. A tricky subject indeed. It might be best to just go for it now. I'll let him get one more activation in here. Oh, Ben 10. Nope, we're just gonna try to snipe it and hope that we can that we can snipe it. Um Let's go for Yep. Do 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 And we'll just get rid of his resource. And actually, getting rid of this might hurt him, depending on if he's playing the spell. And then just see what we can get out of his hand. And just another pre-preparations. Or preparations of rights. Sadness. I was hoping we could get a monster. Either way, he's back down to the six cards he started with. His herald's going to have, I believe, 28. Fuck. No, he's going to put it in defense mode. Okay, what is Ben 10? No, he can add a Light Fairy. Okay. So I can't get over that as is, but I might be able to boost some stuff up to get over it eventually. We'll see. At this point, it's a negation game. I have a lot of effects I can activate, but I only... The, the thing about Crystrons is the important effect that activates is the Synchro Summon. If he can stop that from going off, then I'm going to have some troubles. If he wastes his negation stopping my graveyard effects, then I might be able to get past everything. Oh, now that has 28. But now he has only two negations at most. Ouch. Equal to my defense. Interesting. Alright, let's see here. So, first, let's try this. Can I grab monster? Eh, maybe. Maybe you want to let me have monster, perhaps? I would very much like to have monster, please. Please? Okay, good. Good. 
Um, let me think about this. What you think about that? Now I know how you feel. Let's go for that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to use Solfefnir, and we're actually going to pitch our Rosenix. If he'll allow it. He might allow it. Show me potato salad. All right, maybe he has no negations. That would be cool. Um, yeah, I just want... It's so hard to pilot this deck and think clearly at the same time. Because what I need to do... Have I used the Vistern already? I have. And I'm going to use that. So I think the best thing to go for is Paturtle. And then what I'm going to do... Activate Rosenix. Summon a token. Just a one one attack point token, doing things, having stuff. Me and my baby love Saturday night. Saturday night, I eat. And you want to make sure you do this before you activate these effects, because as soon as you activate the non-tuner effects, you can't summon anything but, I believe, Crystrons for the rest of this turn. No, except machine-type synchro monsters, so you can't even make whatchamacallit. Uh, can't even make needle fiber, even if it existed. Even if it was real, in our corporeal plane. This guy's trying to figure things out. I ain't gonna have it. Um, let's see, if I do that, then I can't do that, but if I do that, I can do that. Alrighty then. Um, okay, so, Smiger, go. And then what we're going to do is use these two to make a Mastar Boy. My boy. And then we're going to hope we can get... Um... Okay, banish Prezordal, summon a Prezordal. This lets you special summon one from your hand. Fortunately, if you use their Banish effect, you can't use their non-Banish effect the same turn. I still have a turtle in the graveyard, right? Okay, good. Um, so let's try to destroy himself, see if he'll let us do that. He keeps making us wait. Letting us build up our board. It's a pity I don't have room for something like, uh... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Boral Load Dragon, because I could actually make it right now. It's a rare circumstance where I can. Okay, he stopped that. But now he has few monsters. I can make Lancer off of this, which did come out in America. And I believe I have... Okay, I have one banished. Oh, but I have a two. Fuck. I have made the mistake. I have made too many mistakes. This deck is diffi- <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm trying to think- The thing is, you're trying to, like, reverse engineer. I'm trying to think of, like, what synchros I can make, and then trying to backtrack through the steps I take. Um, in order to get to that point. Let's see. If I do that, though... Shut up, phone. No one cares about you. Damn. He might have me. And now my phone is ringing! Don't call me. I'm in the middle of recording a thing. Yeah, I think I may not have... Oh, and you went for a spell. Interesting. All right, into the battle phase. Because you can do this. You can sync during the main or the non-main phase. 
Um, that won't have enough. That might have enough. Trying to... Oh, wait! No, I, I'm good. Unless he can stop this, I'm good. He could stop this. I am not good. But now he's down to one card, and I know that it's some. I know it's whatchamacallit. Granted, I'm down to few cards. Granted, I can Mastar Boy, and that'll help. Um, a little bit. Not a whole lot, now that I'm looking at it. Um, let's just get Smiger back. But yeah, he has nothing else he can do. Ouch, my defense. So if I can summon a big play now, then I can do something. It's just a matter of if I have the skills to do something. If I have... It depends what I draw. What I really need is just any other Crystron monster, but I've already gone through a lot of them, so there's not... There's not many left. We've got, like, one of every flavor banished already. Unless he makes, like, a rank 6 or something? I don't know. Damn. I still might be able to do this. Yeah, but now I'm going to be doing it... I mean, I'd have to do it on his turn anyway, but now I'll really be on his turn. Um... So you do that. Let's go for... Yeah, this will be best to have next turn. And then I can banish this to get my trap. Last one. But if this goes off, I should have game secured, because I don't think he'll be able to recover from this. It just, really, it's, does, it's down to does he draw a fairy. If he draws a fairy, I'm fairly screwed. Unless he happens to draw a Herald of Perfection and then tries to discard that. Um. Yep. It's in fate's hands now. A roll of the dice. Alright. He's about to grab one, so I think I still might be screwed. Um, well, again, if he grabs Herald of Perfection, I can negate its effect. And what do I want in the grave? Probably this. Let's put this here. Let's make good old Quandrax. Yeah, what are you grabbing with your rights? Is it a herald and the- YES! Thank you, called by the grave! You are my best friend. You are my only friend. You are the one that keeps me safe at night. And if you don't know if you're my best friend, then I will give you a big bad fight. Um, oh wait, if I do this, is this gonna- I believe it's Chain Link 1. So I'm still good. Hopefully. I banish you. Which negates your effect. Um, Black Rose go off, please. Last thing that happened was Synchro Summon. Yes! I blow you up! Ah, oh, fuck, wait, no, he's got the... I forgot about the spell. I'm a dumbins. It can protect all his light monsters. Well, okay. I got I got so ex I, I got so excited I made a song and everything and I completely forgot about that. Can I still check his graveyard? Okay, good. Uh can I still check my extra deck? Yep. Was there anything I could have made? Uh White Aura Whale. Yeah, if I had made that instead, I would have been in a much better position. Because then I could have brought it back over and over again. Oh, I should have made White Aura Whale. This is just going to be a whole thing of me like, this is what I should have done. But I didn't account for things. Too much math. 
I believe some someone had talked before about like what makes a a deck good or what makes it meta. And it's it's not just a matter of power, it's how much power you can get and how much effort it takes to get that power. And I think that's where Christrons fail, because Christrons have the ability to wipe the board repeatedly and make powerful synchros like Trishula just minus your opponent while going plus a whole bunch. The problem is, it takes a lot of focus and a lot of keeping track of everything to do it, and you could screw it up really easily. And sadly, trying to talk and do it at the same time, I'm screwing it up kind of easily. But hopefully, as we keep going, I'll get better. It's got to get better. I, I can only hope. Uh, I'll see you in the next duel. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we are, third duel, brought to you by Chris W., our great fan from Hong Kong, who sends us all sorts of OCG cards. Thanks to him, we're going up against Blackwing Duck. We get to go first again. We open with Thyvistern and our and our tech cards. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doop 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 math. Okay, we're good. Unless one of these... No, we've got our things to stop hand traps, so we're good here. Hopefully, we can actually do the things I've been wanting to do. And I can do them competently. Only time will tell, but time is a fickle mis mistress, I've been told. I don't know. I don't know anything about mistresses. What do you, what do you think I am? Some sort of degenerate? I'm, I'm, I'm no degenerate, alright. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna use this. And we're actually going to send... Uh, another one of these, even though we can only use once per turn. Because I'm just going for something specific. We're going to grab... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this guy. Actually, I should have... Okay, once again, I make mistakes. Not that it's a huge mistake, but I could have had more options. Alright, Droll and Lockbird, I'm fine with that. I didn't have any more drawings planned anyway. Yeah, if I had sent, if I, right now I have access to making a level 7, and that's, ooh, Sekka's Light, only spell trap in the deck. So he's going for all Monster Mash, which means Twin Twisters is useless, pretty much. Elephant, the elephant, see him go, butterflies catch them, yo, 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 something like that. It's a rescue cat, yay! He's going to banish himself, so called by the grave, not going to be working. I think I heard dual logs talking about this engine. Oh wait, no, it goes to the graveyard. How about, fuck you? Nope. <laughs> Good old Citri, best girl, coming in, doing stuff. The real question is, well, no, he's not going to set a bunch. So again, once again, I go into a deck where, like, Black Rose Dragon, probably not going to do much because he's not going to be swarming a whole... He's not going to be setting a bunch of spell traps that I can destroy in, in the main phase, too. He's not going to be... Ah, okay, well, maybe I'll be able to do something after all. We'll see. We'll go ahead. We'll do this now. Um, dupe and a dupe, how do you dupe? My name's dupe, your name's dupe. And then depending on what he has, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. Uh, the blackest of roses. Because I've been wanting to, and it'll actually make sense this time, because I believe he used both of these effects, so he'll get nothing out of them. And if he has two more, he can do two more, but now he's used all his resources to make one Dante, which is probably not what he wants to do. Nope, he's just gonna sit on Scram, Scarm, whatever it is. Either way, let's go ahead... Let's get right into the news! Let's... let's get a Phoenix this time. Phoenix is cool, is Big Bird, has highest attack. Not like Big Bird on Sesame Street, like a good Big Bird. Um... And actually, now that I think about it though, the better thing, again, would be to go for... Well, he's a Monster Mash, so the... the one guy is actually gonna be really useful here. So, let's summon out one of these. Let's go ahead and Rosenix. 
Rose Nix is going to do some stuff. Rose Nix will summon the tuner because we want to level 3 out here. So that'll make 4, 5, 6, 7, and then we summon the, the last level 2 from the banished pile with Crystron Impact. And then depending on if we summon our level 2 tuner or a level 2 non-tuner, we can either make Trishula or Quarian Gondrax. Probably going to go for Quarion because it can get three monsters on the field or in the graveyard. So if he summons another monster, I can get rid of those two, banish them, plus whatever is in his grave. And just, again, just get his resources down. Good old fiendish rhino. Oh, he's just going for that. Um. Yeah, no. Get out of here with that. You're not allowed to summon, not while I'm here. I'm the one who does summoning on your- I forgot to put a turtle in the graveyard! Oh, fuck! Ah, shit! Ah, I'm a dummins. I'm a poop scooper. Why did I do that? Uh... <laughs> ah, fucking... Mm, stupid. I forgot to put a turtle in the grave. This is what happens when you forget to put a turtle in the grave. Turtle's important. You make your tuner. If you don't make your tuner, you can't make your tuner. It's okay, I've got powered Insectatron. Who missed timing because I saw... Oh, no, it didn't. We're good. I've still got this for next turn. Or this turn, if I need to chump block with it, I can do that. Either way, you know what, this this episode is already almost an hour long, and we're on the third duel, because this is a long, grindy deck that seeks to generate a whole bunch of resources while denying them to your opponent. And I'm up against a deck that does essentially the same thing, so it, it, this might be a while. We'll be back at the end of his turn, we'll see what he does. Dante? Probably. <laughs> Yep, so you probably missed it, but he used Cow Cab, tried to send this, what does it do, back to the hand, I believe? Yeah, so I just activated it, got the turtle. The turtle will be on the field, or it'll be destroyed. He doesn't want to destroy this, because I'll get a search. He doesn't want to ram into this. But also, one of the weird things, so not only does this summon a banished monster, but it also gets all monsters on the field, and permanently reduces their defense to zero. Which is actually kind of a big deal for a deck like his. Um, let's see here. Here. Herbus. Um. To attack. Alright. And we don't want him to be able to summon Graph. So, what we're gonna do... Now we've got a bunch of turtles in the grave. We're gonna be set on grave turtles, I tell you what. The only problem now is that we're almost out of uh, Citrus. We've got one left in the deck. We've got ways to recycle it. Normally by now, if, if I had done the thing I wanted to do, he wouldn't have been able to build any of this. Um, so... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead... Kill Danto. Good old Danto. Danto can summon a thing, or get a thing back to his hand. And then we'll kill Graffer. Summon one from the deck. Good old, good old Farfa. He is a YouTube channel. I heard he's pretty popular. Um, brr, 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 brr. Brr. I just realized... Wait, no. I'm still good. Well, I just need to think this. I can think it through. Um, make Clifford Genius. You got a hand trap you could do? You got another... You got another droll and droll droll? Banish this to get something. Let's go ahead and go for Smiger. I haven't activated a Smiger yet this turn, right? Right? Yeah, because I have no trap. I hope I haven't activated a Smiger yet. If I forgot that I activated a Smiger, I'm going to be sad. And then I can banish one of my two turtles to summon this. 
Yay. And then I can activate Smiger to get my last Citri. And I can stop from being targeted by banishing the trap because it has multiple effects. Nope. Citri! Yay! And then hopefully I can get something that he's going to have a lot of trouble dealing with. We shall see. Hopefully he can't use this when I don't want him to use it. But I'm pretty sure I can get this I can get this done in a way that'll be good to get it done. Oh, he's getting all the farfas. He just wants to move things out of the way so he can attack for game. So it's during your opponent's main phase, I gotta wait for him to do a thing. Unless he like tributes this for Vanity's Fiend, I'm gonna be pretty good. Okay, good. Give me my turtle. This would be over if I had remembered to put you there before. Sadly, I sometimes forget the importance of a turtle. Fairy tale snow, all right. Summon something else, please. Hopefully in attack mode. Going through all his cards. You'll run out of cards before me, my friend. Even though we're pretty close, actually, despite him using three Light of Sekka. Just because I keep banishing things to search things. You going into defense? No. Okay, good. Whale Force! We're having a whale of a time! He's Mirror Force on fins. When he's summoned, he just destroys all attack position monsters. And also, if he gets destroyed, I can banish a water monster from my graveyard and special summon it. Not once per turn. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed the Christians. They're all water. Every one of them are water. Which can make for kind of a big deal. Especially since you can banish your Synchro Tuner and then summon it with the thing that you have. <laughs> Alright, that's sad, but that also means that if he... <laughs> oh, I don't know where I'm getting these hiccup burps at from suddenly. I haven't been eating anything. Gallus? Two Gallus? Your effects are negated. Oh, but I guess that's... Is that a cost? No. You have to reveal that card in your hand. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I might take some damage, but I'm pretty sure he can't do all the damage. Not that he wants to do. He's just going to be able to get rid of my genius and maybe, depending on what he mills, do another, like, 1800. But all he got rid of is hand traps and Savaris. So there goes genius, but that's fine. I just made that to get stuff out of the, ex the, the, the extra monster zone. And now he's going into that so that he can Farfa during my turn, but he had to get rid of his Farfa in order to do it. Well, it's got 2,800 defense, I guess is why. Um, let's see. And I am, I believe, all out of Citrees. All my Citrees are banished. Yep, all three of them. So at this point, I just need to get through my deck as fast as possible. Which, okay, actually, we might have this. I mean, he can, he can Beatrice. Okay, good. That isn't actually what I wanted, so we're, we're good. I mean, I wanted it, but if he's going to block one thing, I'd rather have him block that. That way, oh, damn it. I was going to send, I was going to send Thevistern and search something, and I just realized all my Thevisterns have been used. Um... I could send another one of those, and it'll be set for next time. Yeah, and I can only use that once per turn. I was going to make a token and then normal summon any other, any other Christron and be good, but as it stands, not much I can do. Maybe I can trick him into activating that. But yeah, if I got, if I got the token and any other Christron, I could have made Mistar Boy. That's water. That would have pumped this up. Yep, I spooked him. I spooked him into being spooky. So there goes his last Farfa, I assume.
No, fairy tale snow. Interesting. That summons it though, right? Because this can make two attacks each turn. So if he summons something, and it does piercing. So if he summons something, I can do bad things to him. Things he wouldn't like very much. Granted, if he puts me face down, then we might have... that. I mean, we're not going to have a problem because I can banish stuff to bring it back, but still. Either way, we'll be back when this chain is done resolving as a chain. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he just flipped me face down, which is not doing much. Because again, he can run over it and I can just bring it back. So let's see, if he runs it over and sees if he can... Oh no, he's just going to go for a maximum damage now. I assume... Unless he only plays two Farfa, he might just play the two. I think that's what a lot of meta decks do. Because other than removal, like, you just want to send it from the deck with this, you normally... No, he just has to send... Okay, so we both forgot how much stuff we had in our deck. I just can't believe I went through three Thvisterns already. Yep, I gotta put two Citri and something else back. I thought this was banished. Um, Has to be a face-up target. Okay. Bada-boom. Banish that. But he came back, and now he can't banish me. Oof, 200. But he came back! Go ahead, shift your thing. Oh, wait, you can't shift that into defense mode. Now can you? Oh, that's so, 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 so a tragedy. Granted, if I can't get rid of Blackluster Soldier, he's just gonna banish it. and That's no good for me. That's no good for anyone. I guess, except for him, but who cares about him? He's a scrub lugger. I don't even know what that means, but he is one. Um, and I drew my Twin Twisters, which again is useless. I played two Twin Twisters and two of uh, something else I forget. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to be going... I'm playing singles. Um, so I can't, like... I can't prepare for one thing or the other. Uh, so I'm going to banish Christron. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, I can discard... Yeah, I'll do that then. Because it's discard any Christron card. So Fefnir will summon... Um, let's just go with another Sol Fefnir. Get it out of my deck so I don't top deck it. And then we can summon a token... And then we can get rid of both for my boy. And now I can run over your black luster. Bye. And now I can run over this. Bye. Do you have purple Dante? Purple Dante might be a problem for me. And then I can run over this. Bye. Everything dead. And granted, I'll have to do that again, but it's resources. And I did 50 damage, damn it. Um, I guess we'll set this. Might be able to do something with it, eventually. If nothing else, maybe it'll spook him. Oh, well. Depending on how much he can summon... But at least that's off the field, so he can't, like, banish it permanently. It's just for this turn. I'm not sure he can do enough damage to kill me this turn. He's still got hand traps in his deck. So again, we'll be back once he gets to the end of his turn. <laughs> Interesting. Does he have another one of these in his graveyard? My boy. I guess we're just gonna... Oh, and he surrendered! Okay, so he knew he couldn't do anything. This was coming back next turn. I could attack over a thousand... I mean, he still wasn't dead. 
Especially with my Star Boy gone, I could have added it back. But we outgrinded Burning Abyss. It was a long, drawn-out battle. This is going to be a long, drawn-out episode, as you can probably already tell. But at least we, we beat a deck that's arguably on the meta scale. I believe this, this was that Burning Abyss deck, or something close to it that actually topped somewhere. So, doing, doing all, not terrible. <laughs> Let's go into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alright, fourth duel versus paranormal deck. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a bit tired. This has been a long day already, and I had to record on top of it. Um, and we've got shit for hands. We've just got a handful of shit. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to... Set the Vistern Pass. We'll set this too. Sadly, if you can't if you can't get a a Christron and a uh, and a uh, if you can't get two Christrons on the field, you're in a bad way. That's why we play all those things that can get us Solfefnir into the graveyard. Luckily, we might stand a chance. Although I think this is Psy Frames. And this was already a long episode without having to bring Psy frames into it. Who boy, I tell you what. Um, flip salmon. Hmm. Normal salmon. Hmm. Um. I attack. I hope this isn't drowning mirror force. Nope, it's Exodia. And this is where I need my twin twisters. 500. Uh, let's see. Yep, nothing I can do. Fuck. And if he can just send stuff back to my hand... I'm not going to be able to establish anything I want to establish. Yeah, he's just going to keep sending that back. Fuck. Well, you know, we'll be back. Eventually he's going to run out of pieces and then stuff will happen. Or he's going to draw into Exodia. Or I'm going to draw into my twin twisters. One of these things will happen eventually and then something will happen. But until then, it's just a stall fest. <laughs> All right, I have a kind of a sort of a chance. Probably not, though. Unfortunately, this can send from your hand, too. So you pretty much need to destroy this, or you need to be able to get more monsters on the field. And I can do neither. I have this that's useless, because this is unaffected by all card effects. Maybe this might be an anti-meta choice after all. Maybe with Treasure Panda or something? Hard to say. Gonna waste the obliterate on well not waste it, he's gonna use the obliterate on that. That'll give him up to three thousand. My effect will still go off, so I can send the Vistern. The Vistern will get me to this, which will let me put more than one monster on the field every turn. Hopefully more than that. Um Yep, we're gonna do this. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Um... I've already got a turtle. I already used a Thephistern. Um... Uh, oh, but I need the turtle of them to do anything. Yeah, good point, me. And I can't get Smiger. I don't know why I thought I had Smiger in the graveyard. Oh, I do have Smiger in the graveyard. I just happen to have another one in my hand. Why are you waiting, paranormal deck? Stop waiting. We'll be back. <laughs> and he surrendered! Well, on the one hand, we didn't really earn it, but on the other hand, I don't care. So, 
It, the, the alternative was fighting a lengthy, drawn-out battle against Exodia, where I would have been struggling constantly to try to stall against the 3,000 as he bounced things back to my hand again and again and again, hoping and praying that eventually I get my twin twisters. Uh, it's one of those things, like, I would probably side this out for more twin twisters in a in a match, and he wouldn't do nearly as well, but... Uh, let's go ahead into the fifth duel. Alrighty then, here we are, fifth duel, and I'm thrilling my R's, because we're giving thanks to Windshadow64, who is British, I believe, or Australian. He has one of those accents that doesn't trill their R's, but thanks to him anyway, supporter of the show, frequent person on the uh, deck build challenge, and once again, the hiccups. Uh, did, did they just surrender? Did Durg? Durg. Why are you doing this to me, Durg? Alright, well that one doesn't count. I'm not that desperate for wins. Let's go and find a real fifth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are in what should be the real fifth duel versus Black Tower. Uh, Rock? No. Rock? Mmm. Mmm? 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 Ah! Oh! This is truly a challenge of wits. Hmm? Oh, 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 you almost got me. Ah, ah I got you! <laughs> I am the Rock, Paper, Scissors Champion 2017. Um, okay. Not a great hand, but still doable. I mean, we've got traps. I mean, this is a great hand for stopping your opponent from doing stuff. It's just not a great hand for, uh, existing otherwise. Um, let me think. Do I want to deck? No, I don't need to deck thin because I've already got things. So we're going to do this. And we're going to go ahead and discard our trap as a sacrifice to get our plays started. You've seen them many times before. They all start the same. How they end depends entirely on a, a variety of factors. Such as what my opponent plays. I guess that's the only factor, but you know... He can play it in a variety of ways. He's the Black Tower. He's the embodiment of towers. I got a little pyramid carts. A little card pyramid here. That's pretty nice. This is a nice card pyramid. Comment in the comments if you like pyramids. And then prepare for everyone to accuse you of Illuminati. Because that's how the internet is. So the question is, what is Black Tower? Ooh, he plays one of those. I see. Uh, Okay. And then he does something else. Ah, two of them. He has some wild hope. I'm not liking that. I'm spooked. Citri, get out of there. Bad stuff's about to happen. Bad stuff's about to go down. She's noping the hell out of there. There we go. Of course, if he pendulum summons, I can just solemn strike everything. It's funner to black rose everything, but I mean, I have the solemn strike. Let's just see if he does his whole hand. There's one. Just one. I'm still going to Solemn Strike it. Just cuz. Just cuz it can. And it goes to the graveyard. Wavering eyes. Interesting. Ah, uh, fuck. Hmm. Now we've got ourselves to a problem, because if I blow this up and it's a... It's a Biss Actor thing, and he has a Biss Actor in his extra deck, then I'm gonna be in for some trouble. So now I don't want a Black Rose. I might Black Rose Moonlight. I might Moonlight as a Black Rose, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't 100% Black Rose. At least not until I'm sure he doesn't have any set cards that I I'm gonna that are gonna hurt me. I don't wanna be hurt. Okay, I've got this. I can make other stuff. Twinkle little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so bright. Shine like a diamond in the the skype. Into Skype. I don't I don't know, man. Words. Okay, can't synchro, or you can't pendulum again, though. You already pendulum summoned. Uh, yep, go ahead. Pay a thousand, search. 
Yep, this might be. This is like the only Pendulum deck where I'm like, oh, Pendulum decks. Against Pendulum Magicians, they set up their scales and stuff, and then you Black Rose them, and it's like, <laughs> he. Oh, why didn't they give me a chance before the... Okay. That's fine. Now I can do other things. You know, whatever I feel like. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do one of this. Um. Let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, that would be 27, yeah. Just gotta hope he's got no mirror forces here, because he might mix mirror forces in with his abyss scripts, so that I'm wary of attacking. Nope, okay, if he has one, he's not using it. And I feel fine. And I just gotta wait for him to summon a monster. Then I can do some stuff, baby. Cool stuff. Stuff that would make Common a Cat proud. Well, I gotta make him pay a thousand life points first. He's getting that search. He's searching that weight. He's moving that hog. Although, wait, okay, he already has Superstar. If he has the thing that blows up stuff, it's probably best that I destroy it right now. Okay, he's doing everything. Pendulum. And, damn, he didn't get everything out of there, but that's fine. We'll still go for this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Get out of here. You're going to, and whatever's in your hand. Probably that thing you searched. Some sort of abyss script. We're good. Ouch, my most of me. Um. Oh no. But he used it, now I can't get it back. Of course, I'm taking some damage. Don't like that, but there's little I can do about it. I mean, I could have one of theirs attacks, but I'd prefer to wait for him to summon something big, and then I'll have its attack when it attacks into something. That way he'll get that surprise loss. Yeah, what would happen if I destroy that? You could add up to two. Oof. Big oof. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right, we got that in the graveyard. We got that. Okay, so what we can do. Normal summon. Go ahead and send Thivistern to the graveyard. Um. Activate this. Yeah, because we need that. Hello. Goodbye. It's been nice knowing you. Um, more turtles into the graveyard. Every turtle. No turtle left unturtled. Getting one of these. And then what we're going to do... I'm going to summon a token. That'll give us options. Now if I want to go into a 7 or an 8, I could do either or. Although I can't make what I wanted to make now that I think... Okay, that's fine. I forgot it has to be water. It has to be water for I white or a whale to work. We'll get that to our hand. Um, and I already used turtle, and I'm reconsidering all my life's choices. Um... What, whatever. We make do with what we make do with. We make it do, alright. We'll find some way. If he wants to search, he has to pay another thousand. That'll put him closer. If he gets something big, I might be able to do something. 
Let's just go ahead and make our thing now. Do, 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 do. Yep, this is an Earth. That kind of ruins things. You need a water tuner and a non-water monster. So this has to be a Crystron. And I didn't think about that for a second, because I was like, I can make eight if I summon the token. Curtain Riser. All right. Oof. Great, if he has a bigger one, I can do bad things will happen. Wait, no, why couldn't I react to that? I wanted to I wanted to stop his effect right now. If he has another abyss script, I'm dead right here. Cuz I can't I can't activate things in response to it and he can blow up my entire field. Um Um, once per turn, you could set one from your deck, but it's sent to the graveyard. Okay. Activate this. Um, summon. Moonlight. Yeah, that'll get that. Granted, it'll be there next turn. But at least it'll stop him from doing the things I don't want him to do. No, every time he summons it, it'll come back. Wait, does this miss timing? Nope. Okay. If. Big if. There we go. Back to your hand with ye. Granted, if that's a, an abyss script, I'm still doomed. He tributed it. No, you're not a... I can't target it! Fuck! Why can't I target it? Um, the rest of the turn you can... Oh, I'm doomed. A pendulum summon, target one abyss actor, can make a second and third. Why can't this be targeted? When normal summoned, you can activate... Okay. Sadness. If that wasn't an Abyss script, I'll be sad, because I could have blown up everything and I messed up. Okay. So much for my streak, if you could even call it that. Let's go into the in-between. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? World-famous Yu-Gi-Tuber Hardleg Joe here. Perhaps you've heard of me. Uh, just, just stopping in to be like, hey, you enjoying the video? You having a good time? We're not winning as much as we're losing, but we're still putting up a good fight. Well, hopefully it's an entertaining show either way. I just wanted to say, you know, if you're enjoying the show, I run an ad-free channel. No ads on here. The only way I make any kind of money is through the Patreon and I, I guess Twitch, but mostly through the Patreon. So if you enjoy this, you could sign up there. Just a dollar a month helps to support me. If you want to do more, there are some cool rewards and stuff like that. I have the Crystron sleeves I made. Joe, you can put those up there. We got the cute negation. And of course, the deck file. All of that's for download, along with all the music I've made. Uh, higher levels, you get cards sent to you in the mail every every month. Uh, so it's just a good time. I have a Discord, too, you can get on that. So there's a lot of rewards. It'll help me out. It'll fund the channel. And hopefully I can make more more quality decks like this. I think it's quality. It may not be winning, but it, it took a lot to put it together. And I think it still works pretty well. And we'll see that as we go into the rest of the five duels. <laughs> Oakley, Don, Vocally, here we are. Six duel versus Neos Meta. Hopefully he's playing Neos. Give us just give us a little bit of a break here. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. I took a little break myself. Actually, sat down, had a Reese's peanut butter cup and some bacon jerky. Nothing makes you more excited than that. People are like, "Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna try drugs, hard leg." And I'm like, "Why do I need drugs when I got bacon jerky and chocolate?" Someone's gonna put that down in a quote down below, and that, it'll be funny. Uh, let's see. And we're doing. The same old thing that we've done time and time again. Just getting to Solfefnir so that we can discard stuff, so that we can do things. Get out our Citri, best girl. No girl is better. And because we discarded that guy, uh, Smiger, we can go and add this. So now with this setup, we have access to... Um... Black Rose Dragon, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, 
the the one guy that I still haven't made yet, the 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 what you call it, as well as uh... ah, he's doing that. Well, let's just go ahead. I see a thing when I'm when I'm doing it, as well as Gaiken Glongorax and uh, the other guy, whose name I don't remember, uh, that I should remember. Trishula. There we go. And then we'll just go ahead and do one of these. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Oh, Oversoul. All right. Um, well, crap. He activated that before I could get to the thing. But he's only got... Wait, this is called Neos, and he has Neos. Um, let's see what else he's got here. Maybe he'll get some bigger thing out that'll be better to banish. I was hoping to get stuff... Okay, nope, alright. That's fine. I'll just make... Actually, I don't think I want to waste Trishula at this moment. Um, but I've got nothing in the graveyard, and he'll still have something in his hand. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Trishula it is. Because if nothing else, it's possible he just plays one of these. Sure, we'll get that out just because we can. And something else. What was that something else? A ghost. All right. That's not that bad. We're, we're, we're setting up pretty good. Let's just go ahead and... First verse, say, second verse, same as the first. Send this guy. This guy gets a Smiger. Smiger is a tiger. And he just surrendered. Yeah, he was, he was going to be taking a lot of damage. Uh, I couldn't, of course, Synchro Summon, but what I could have done is just 15 plus this plus whatever I normal summoned. Probably just Citri. Oh, I could have done, I don't know. There's a lot of things. Either way, long episode. We get another win. It was against Neos, so take that with a grain of Neos-flavored salt. Uh, as we go ahead into the seventh duel. <laughs> Okie dokie, seventh duel, brought to you by Austin Smith Glover. The dang old Glovering is Smith, whoever Austined his way out of Austin. We're up against Oats McGoats. I like your name. My name is Quartz. If, if you didn't guess, it's pretty simple. The, uh, the, all the, uh, Christrons are named after different types of Quartz which is a type of crystalline sort of thing that does stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead... Because we've already got Solfefnir, so we're just going to use that to get Smiger to our hand. We're going to Smiger the Tiger. It's great! They're food! And we're going to go ahead and make a... Uh, Citri every single time! Consistency is key. Uh, I've already got a Christron impact. Yeah, just in case. I mean, you can use more than one per turn. But there's a chance that maybe he'll do something and I'll just want to make, like, a, a level 5 machine synchro because I have one of those. I haven't used it yet. I've been so concerned with black rosing the entire world. But I just haven't had a chance to use such a thing. What will do, Buckaroo? Spellbook of Secrets. Ah, is it secret? Is it safe? Spellbook of Rudra. How rude. Ah, I gotcha. I'm gonna just go ahead and tag out there. Give him the old toodly doodly. Honk came from outside. I wonder what that could mean. Um, let's see here. I get rid of his stuff. And let's see what else he can do. 
Maybe he can't do anything else. And he's just gonna draw cards. Alright, but he still has to establish a board. I'm hoping he sets like five pass and then I can do a whole bunch of shit. He's got two spell books in the grave, so he can't banish me yet. Not this time, my land, my friend. Not this time. Great. Uh, he skipped right ahead. It didn't let me do it before the end of the end phase. That's fine. Um. Uh. Yeah. More turtles, more problems. I'll set him with a whole bunch of attacks. Hopefully, no mirror forces. I don't like mirror forces. Not when they're used against me. Let's just see how much attack can we attack. Torrential tribute. Boo. Luckily, when this goes to the graveyard, I get to summon something from the graveyard. Let's go with... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just go with this. Just have a dandy old thing. Uh, I've just been handed french fries. Delicious. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Not sure if you heard that way over there in the hinterlands. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh, yeah. Let's go with this. We could still do things. Grab one of those, hit him with the 1800 damage, smack him upside the head with a hammer of knowledge. Take that, oats my goats. No one will goat my oats as long as you're oating the goat goats. There we go. What's now, schmappy boy? More drawing. More drawing all the time, forever time. He doesn't already have one of these. Is this just a draw engine to get into all the traps? Like, you're drawing, but to what end? Is this just goat format? Are we playing goat format? Discard that, special summon that, alright. Oh, is this a is this a dark magician deck? I didn't even realize this was a dark magician deck. Holy Snapple facts. That's a Snapple top fact. Alright, summoning some things. Act as the I, I I don't care. You think I care? I kind of care. But not that much. He's going to make a Ixie. Probably an attack mode. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. Now you're going to feel the impact. Unless he could stop this somehow. Yo, what's up? Smiger, my tiger. We're going to make a thing and it'll be all right. -er. Now what? Special summon one normal monster, alright. I wonder if he knows about Whale Force. Or if he's just trying to deck thin himself out of Dark Magicians. Battle phase. You've got everything in attack mode. That is exactly what Whale Force desires. Whale force. Like mirror force, but a whale. Oh hey, I finally got this. Finally. How many duels into into this is this? And we finally do a thing. Um I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for now. He might banish my stuff. I might want him to not banish my stuff. Plus, it's usually better to save this until you got, like, two citries you can suff- You can shuffle them back and then get some things. Then suddenly your ability to make quadding Gromdraxes are, like, super high. Um.
Yeah, let's just go ahead. Fuck it, you know. I wanted to save that so I could stop him from summoning a, uh... <laughs> so I could hopefully stop him from, from summoning a dark magician. Like, he targets it and then I get it out of the graveyard. Oof. Especially when he's going to be showing me his rod. I'm not liking that. And I believe that's add anything. So if he gets the mirror, I might be in for some trouble unless I can get through my deck to get my, uh, you know, that guy, the Twin Twisters. I've only got two of them because I want to see them sometimes, but not all the times. Against that Burning Abyss player, I didn't want to see it. Against this guy, it's it's everything I hope for, it's everything I need. It is so beautiful to me. That's, that's a song reference. Oh, but he didn't get the tra- I guess he already has his Eternal Soul, or he doesn't play Eternal Soul. Some people don't think it's worth it. Alrighty then. We got that. We got this. Why wouldn't I? Burial from a different foolishness. Do you have a response? You could have a response, maybe? Oof! Big oof. Biggest oof. Oof out of ten. Alright, let's see if this is if this is his uh eternal soul. If it is, I have some trial problems. It is not his eternal soul, but I can't attack twice unless it's against monsters. So I still have a good thing, but uh, there's still a chance that bad stuff could happen to me. Uh, let's just let's just be a little safe. Let's be a little more safe, shall we? Hmm? 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 Nothing. Alright. And let's just go ahead and use this. This, and one of these toidles, and one of this guy. We'll just shuffle them back, draw a card. Solemn Strike. Not useful in this situation. But I have it, so if he happens to use a monster effect, I can at least stop it from being a monster effect. Um, like that. No clear wing synchro dragon for you, please. I've had enough of that in my lifetime. Oof. Big oof. I wonder if he knows I do piercing damage. He might not know that I do piercing damage. Such information is low on the totem pole. This guy's got a whole bunch of things. Alright! I mean, I could stop that anyway. I might as well, I got two of them. How many more things is he going to target? I mean, not that I can synchro anyway. Oh, he just wants to get that out, but now I can attack both your monsters. Oh. Never mind. Now I cannot attack either of his monsters. Does that summon it? Jeez. Brutal. Not liking that. I am I am a liking. Um Attack face down? Okay, at least I killed that. Um, let's see. We can at least get this out. So I can do something. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. I forgot this was called Dark Magician while it's on the field. Hmm. 
going into that. Summoning a dude, bro. Classic art, Dark Magician. I mean, I can just chain that. But, let's see. Five, six, seven. What does this do again? Um, target one card on the field and banish it. That's no good. Um... I think what I might want to do, actually, because he summoned both of these this turn, is one of these a rare spicy tech. But this is why we play this. Good old Amatrix, when it's summoned. I can turn all monsters to defense position. And then he can't attack. And then I can attack over him. And I want to attack over him. Because that's going to banish my things, and I don't want to be banished. Not unless I'm the one doing the banishing myself. Haha! -ha. That's a big oof, but... At least it's there. Um... Twenty one hundred... At least it's bigger. Yeah, no. I can't tribute it. Okay. That's, that's bad. Okay, I gotta hope he can't summon something. If I destroy this. Okay, good. He can't banish my things. That makes me happy. And I could summon another token. I could use this. Accept a Synchro Monster and Special Summon it. Do I have another one of those? In the yeah, I have all my Soul Fafnirs. You, unfortunately, you can get flooded with them, and you can't discard one to get the other, but you have to play it in three, because getting it your first hand is just that important. Still waiting on my, uh, my twin twisters. It would be nice to get one of those. Granted, he's got... one of these. He's gonna crash... You gonna mash a crash? No, he's gonna get rid of my token. Alright, because I'm perfectly willing to crash. I'm like that movie from 2000 whenever. Hey! Now we got up a thing! Uh, although, I think it's probably better to just... No, actually, I might be able to do this. Might be able to end it here. If I'm a smart boy. I might be a smart boy. Depends what that is. Torrential Tribute. Alright. Well, I've still got this. 18. Aha! Banish this. Get that. The power of math. Discard this. Summon. I have to summon in defense mode. But, activating this effect, I don't have to summon in defense mode. I can summon Citri in attack mode. And as I just found out, 1800 plus 500. Indeed. Well fought, good sir. Yep, 500, I have exactly 100 more. But a good showing from Oats McGoats. I may talk to him a little bit after this, but just assume I won and we'll go into the next duel. <laughs> Here we are, the 8th duel versus Bato. Is it perhaps Bato from, uh, from Ghost in the Shell? Is that the same Bato? I'm not sure if it's spelled that way. And I'm going first, once again, even though I'm writing something. I just assumed I lost the coin toss, I would be going second. Sadly, we've got one of those hands. We've got one of those hands, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good one. But we've got a couple things. So what I'm going to do, normally I might just set this and then search next turn. 
I'm actually going to activate it, summon out Citri. I can make that level 5 uh, Amethyst or whatever it is to shift everything in defense mode if I need to. As it stands, I've got two things that can hopefully slow him down. And maybe I can survive just with this until next turn and then be able to make optimal plays. That would be nice. More of... More Cyber Angels. Yep, I just have to let it go through. I could stop this, but there's no guaranteeing that wouldn't stop him from getting something. It's better if he's playing something like, uh... If he's playing something like Heralds. To let him get Herald out, try to bait out the negation, and then negate him with the Solemn... Oh, wait, no, I forgot that he could stop his things from being destroyed. When did Cyber Angels become popular again? I haven't seen one of these in a while, and now I've faced two in the same night. Same evening. Granted, it's been almost two, two and a half hours at this point, so... I guess there's a chance. Whoa! Foolish Mass Burial. Alright. He's just going for the, the full-on... Uh, what's his name? Yugi Nono style. Like, I'm going to end with a herald and like seven negates, or maybe even two heralds and seven negates. What you gonna do about it? Hmm. Alright, go ahead. Ah, I see. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to say no to that. Just because I can. So that'll keep him down at least one monster. So far, I'm not seeing Herald. If it's just Cyber Angels, I might have a chance. Granted, if he's going to be making Link monsters, then Amatrix turning things to defense mode, not really all that useful, but maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what he ends up making and we'll be back. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well I don't want to give everything a thousand attack. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's better to take 1500 than 2000. And then he's going to make me send this to the graveyard. So now I have no plays. So if he could put a lot more damage on, I'm going to be screwed. But hopefully, this will be all he can do. Okay, good. And then I have that Thevistern in the graveyard. So I'll be able to make a big play next time. Granted, I need to remember this time that he can't be destroyed. If I can, depends on what I can draw, but hopefully I'll be able to make the thing that banishes everything, and then he won't be able to do anything about it. Not everything, but I can banish three things. That would be cool. Oh, what did he add? I think that was an honest. Honestly, I think it was. Alright. Um... Yeah, this is kind of an oof moment because I've gotten all of my Thevisterns. Uh, let me think about this. So, banishing that, getting out this to my hand. And then I need to get the turtle, and I could either make an 8 or a 7. I believe what I want to do is go for Black Rose Moonlight, because that's not destroying, because I can't make the other bigger one, because I've got all these Thevisterns. So, activate this, send another one of those. Hello, goodbye, yes. Turtle, hello, I'm a turtle. Switch out turtle for a thing. Best girl comes out. Normal summon. Your move. Oh, I should have tried. Oh, he can negate. He can negate the attack anyway, so it's fine. 
I can't even attack his things. Hopefully he can't he can't summon again. I would prefer if he could not summon again. And yeah, I could Black Rose, but he would literally survive everything. Even this might not be enough. I just gotta wait, wait until the battle phase and then do it. Because he has Honest, so I want to make sure that I summon this in defense. Okay, he can't get over it without Honest. And once he's in the battle phase, then I'll have to summon that again. And I've already got this in the graveyard, so as long as I can... And I'll have another Thibisturn, so... I believe I'll be able to then banish everything. This deck is just about... A, a lot of times it's like... It, it's Again, it's advantage. But sometimes you've got to stall until you can get the, the, the components to make the right plays. Fortunately, this is pretty good at stalling for the most part. Unless they kaiju you. Not much you could do against being kaiju, though, you know what I'm saying? All right, he's summoning another machine angel. If it's another copy of this, I might be in for some trouble. No, it's one of those. Um. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, and then he might try to steal this, but that's when I go for the summon. Because I can chain. And I believe Black Rose Moonlight can't miss the timing. Okay, good. Moonlight, fighting evil by moonlight. Saying fuck you to cyber angels in the eve light. Sending you back to the hand right. I am the one called Hardleg Joe. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, I thought he would I thought he would run over and honest that. If he steals it with Natasha, I might be in for some trouble because I need to synchro summon. No, he's not. He's just sending it to graveyard with another Dakini. I believe this activates again though, doesn't it? No? Alright. Oh, he doesn't... Okay, then it activates after it comes back. Hmm. Yeah, I might have screwed myself there. I thought he would get rid of it the other way. But now he's doing things, and I don't like those things. Um... Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I think I just need another one of these. Actually, this might work, because I think this comes there and back so far in the middle of a chain that he won't be able to do anything. Um. Damn it. Fuck. I gave him the tools to defeat me! I bring shame upon my dojo. Or not. Or, or not. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a goofball. It has to be level 5. Okay, so by the time it activates, I'll be good. So, destroy this, get my last Citri. Uh, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine. okay, good. First on impact. And you're good. It has to be a level 5 or higher. I'm going to summon a level 4. And then I'll summon a level 5 or higher, but by then all your stuff's going to be banished. <laughs> okay, battle phase. Activate Citri. Summon the turtle. Turtle summon. 
Activate Quandrex Synchro. And then we summon back Citri. And then we can make Quarian Gondrax. Boop, boop, boop. Two tunas. And then he's going to activate an effect. And then I'm going to activate an effect. And let's just banish this, because I have to. Um, this and this. Goodbye. Sadly, this goes away because of my own monster. But I'm only taking 14. 18 is more than 14, so I can do something about that. What do you think about that, Bato? Even though he has 10,000 life points, and this may be a difficult... Even after paying, he paid half his life points. I just don't do enough damage. He's healing too much. Mm-hmm. Afro Circus. Discard that. Let's... Sure, we'll get one of these into the grave, because we can. And we'll search this. At this point, we're just deck thinning, so we can hopefully get to our... Our big cards, biggest cards, best cards, biggest cards around. Um, destroy, summon a turtle. Turtle's cool. Normal summon. Yep. We'll just put. Uh, one of these in the graveyard, just because we can. We'll get our token. Hopefully we can recover some things. Citri's in the graveyard because we used it as material. So now, we can do one of these. And also... Is that the only turtle I have in the graveyard? Yeah... Two citries are in the graveyard. Formulating, formulating. Yeah, let's go for it. Banish that. Get this. He's got 2300. We'll just attack with that. I don't think he grabbed Honest. I think I might have been mistaken when I thought he grabbed Honest. At least we can get a whole bunch of damage in. Hell be below 8,000 before we're done with ye. Robots don't say ye. I've had enough of ye. Something like that. And I still got some things. I still got a couple things I can do. I got a couple tricks up my sleeve. A couple sleeves up my tricks. But no trick stars up my sleeve. That would be gross. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Ooh, it's been a slow go on the Bato. He spent a lot of time thinking about what he was going to do, and then he ended up just making Natasha. It's just a Natasha. Just having a good old bish bosh with the... Det Why you do this to me? Why couldn't I act? Why couldn't I chain? I wanted to chain. Um, let's see. You can negate the attack, and it's not once per turn. Um, sadly, and the thing I wanted to do, I can't do at the moment. So we're just going to set this, move this to defense mode, and call your go for now. There is something I can make that can get through this, but I can't make it on my turn because of the way Crystrons work, sadly. So we'll be back again. 
Yep, I think I need to do this. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to be able to overcome this. This way he can't get over anything. He could still negate. I was hoping to save that for this. He doesn't seem to have any links or anything, though. <gasps> so I think we're still good. But he can continue to gain life points. But at least I'll draw a card. So there's that. But the stalemate marches on into infinitum. Infer ta tur ta tur patur patar patur. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm crazy. Almost three hours now, and we still got like three more. No, just two more duels. I'm hoping we can win this one though. It'll be a comeback. It'll be a tricky one, but it's. Like I said this deck. I, I like this because they're so ch they're such back and forth. They're such thinking about what you can do. I like complicated decks. It's fun every once in a while to play something like Ancient Gears or Crusadia that just sort of like booms past your opponent. And in fact, I might be looking at those next week. But I like a little bit of complexity, a little bit of challenge. Again, sort of this toolbox of like there are different things. What? He has it after all. All right, that throws a wrench into all of my plans. All of my well-made plans. Um, for each card they control. Uh, no. You cannot target me. I will say no to targeting. Which I believe means he can't come out. Yay. Oh, this is going to be, hmm, what can do. What do I have in here? Uh, yeah, I can do that. I will do that, actually. Let's go ahead and get a Citri from the Banished Pile. Hello. And then we will banish these two. Howdy. I make big mistake. Big oof. Biggest oof. Biggest oof around. I thought I could make the six. There's a six star. It stops me from taking any damage that turn. I'll still have more attack than him, but that's going off the way of the Mohicans. For whatever reason, I could not do math. Pretty close, my boy. Yep, give me this back. Let me make my things. Although I think at this point all I can make is the level 7. Which is a good level 7, but it's... Or the level 7 machine. Samurai Destroyer, which is a good one, but you know. Oh wait, no, I could do something better than that. I could do something so much better than that. I didn't realize until now. Sinking on my own turn? Who would have thought such a thing possible with Christrons? You got something you can do? Okay, good. Hello. I hope you can do math, because you're about to lose everything you love and more. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Get that one too, and the thing in your hand. Uh, yep, that's, that's good. I don't think I can kill him this turn, but he is dangled out of resources. He's gonna have to top deck something, something spectacular. In order to get himself out of this. Only time will tell. It's it's in it's up to a roll of the die, a play of the card, a hoodle of the doodle. Uh don't know if that will help oh he can special summon this so he can block and get a card, but he'll either get a monster or a spell. And unless they have a spell that lets them get out of the graveyard, I don't think he'll be good. He's just chunk blocking. So, I think I am set. 
Because you can't special summon, you can't ritual summon out of the graveyard. You can discard that. That one can, but... Oh wait, no. I can use monsters in the graveyard, but I can't... Alright. And I got this too! Yay! So, a good fight on your side. You got me down to 300 life points. Very close. Well played. Ah, fuck. I forgot he could do that. Alright. It's not over yet, boyos! Just banishing everything? No. Alright, it's not over yet. It ain't over till it's over. And it ain't over. Let's see here. Let's get my Citri. And... My Black Rose. And... I need a turtle. Otherwise, I can't make the things I want to make. Um, I can't make the things I want to make anyway, but I could pretend. Um, uh, speaking of turtle, let's just go ahead and make turtle. And then we can banish this to get this. That'll be defense. This'll be even more defense. Your move, Turtle Man. Unless he has something that can do piercing, or unless he gets honest. I think I'm safe. Not sure what can make. Could make egg, maybe? This is only 200 more than this, so even if he somehow manages to steal this and attack into this, I should be good. I still have troubles. Troubles ahead. Tough times in Ridgemont High. I don't know. We'll be back yet again. Longest duel. A million times. Oh, he's got the biggin. Does he have enough to summon the biggin? He can summon the biggin! Ah, uh, Fuck! Oh, damn. I underestimated him and he burned me with burn damage. Well, at least it was a good duel. Lots of back and forth. A sad state of affairs that I lost, but you can't put me for not trying. He just gained too many life points. It's such a scrub play, and yet it works, because I can't put on that much damage with this deck. Into the ninth duel. <laughs> All right, it... I, should, I shouldn't try to do that. We're in the ninth duel. I'm again brought to you by Patreon sponsor, CS Meek, who again has been in some, some episodes of the, the deck build challenge. Check those out. Pretty dang old, doodly old time, I tell you what. I'm like making winking motions with my hand, with my head. I don't know why. No one can see them, and even if they did, they, they don't make any sense. Um, let's go ahead and put Turtle in Graveyard. And then because Turtle is in Graveyard, we can summon out Thivistern. Use that to get Citri, and then next turn we will be able to search. All sorts of cool stuff. And then we could use Turtle, but then Turtle would not be in Graveyard, and as you well know, from watching this for... Uh, I don't know how much with everything edited out, but probably close to two hours, this might very well be the longest what a deck ever made. Which, to be fair, it seems like the longer I make them, the more popular they get. Mind... How many? How many ritual decks today? Why? At least it's not, at least it's not more Cyber Angels. Jesus, Creesus. But, just all the ritual decks today. End of the main phase, eh? Um. Yeah, I guess we're good. 
Okay, well, he's going to attack, so I've got to do something about that. Can you stop? Can you stop that from being? If you have hand traps, I have solemn strike. You should know that. I know you can't hear me through the internet, but I like to pretend that you can, because the audience can. Hello, by the way, audience. How are you this fine? Oh. Oh, no. I can't stop that. I'm sad now. I'm sad. My own tech card used against me. Like a dojo in the evening night. And there goes my tuner. And without my tuner, I cannot synchro. I'm go. Go. You know. Hopefully he doesn't have more of those. I don't want my turtles to all... I want my toitles to all be banished. Well, I got another Salem strike. So at least there's that. Um... Thavistern. Banish ye self to get me a Smiger. Smiger, please. Smiger? Okay, there we go. Hey, Smiger. Good old Smiger. Rhymes with tiger, but but less scary. Less endangered species e. Shuffle two level four earth machines in the graveyard. I'll never have two of those. I bring him a turtle back. I believe its effect is still negated. Why you why you gotta be like that? You just don't like me existing, do you? You just gotta be one of those anti-existite kind of guys. That's okay. I don't care. I care immensely. But I pretend that I don't care. That's the, that's the trick to being cool. If you ever want to know how to look cool in front of your peers, you just gotta pretend to not care. That's why sunglasses look so cool, because your eyes always look like they're steady. People can't see the expression on your face. It's okay. He thinks he's like, oh, I'm shutting him down with all this generic support. I've got generic support, and it'll shut you down so hard, you'll be incontinent. That's not even funny. That's just gross. No one wants to think about that, but that's that's what happens when you got two Salem strikes out here. At least I can summon my things back. I can summon my Solfefnir back, and then I will have him. I can blow him up with this guy's effect. And I believe he doesn't have anything that prevents him, so as soon as he activates any kind of effect, hopefully he'll activate some kind of effect. Yay. Oh, but can he chain block? I don't want him to chain block. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. Chaos. Chaos reigns. He's got those in the graveyard. I think he has something he can banish or something. I don't know. I tried to play these a while ago, and I couldn't really make them work all that well. End of the main phase? No, but at the end of the end phase... He came back! Hello? My effects are negated until the end of the turn, but that's fine. Ah! Now we'll see who's cooking up who! For now, though, I'm just going to attack with 2,000, because surely he doesn't have something with 2,000 defense. Oh, he has 2,000 defense. That's fine, though. Um, We'll blow up this guy. Uh, to summon out this. And then Solfernir will get me a turtle, because I still want a turtle. And then, what I can do, I can only synchro summon this turn. Uh, do I want to synchro summon this turn? I don't think that I want to. Uh, actually, I might want to, because I won't be able to use the turtle otherwise. There we go. And then we set that. Your move, holy man. And the turtle's in the graveyard for next turn, so I can actually use Citri. 
during my opponent's turn like I like to. And then I can make a black rose and destroy anything, but I'm pretty sure... No, that it, I can just destroy that. Okay, good. And, okay, so, okay. He's not just playing black lusters. He's playing the other stuff, too. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It'll lock you out of the extra deck. So that'll be cool. Yeah, and if he summons another one of these, I could sort of, like, block him out. No. The sun is a deadly vampire. What you think about that? Now I know how you feel. Now you better let me, before he goes into the end phase, Synchro Summon. Um, actually, I can do that during my turn, and that'll be more surprising. Yeah, we're good. I don't I don't always need to do stuff like that. Um, hello, I am a giant whale. Perhaps you've heard of my work. I was a, a, a very uh, aggressive person in this uh, thing of the... I can't improvise. Um... Yep, let's just go ahead. 800. A lot more than 800. Big oof. 900. And... What to do, what to do. I could synchro and do some other things and make a black rose, but I'm kind of commanding at the moment. Probably should have just shifted this into defense mode. Uh, it's... I guess it's in fate's hands now. Thinking. I have a million plays I can make, and I choose to do none of them. Oh, he just surrendered. Okay, well then. There we go, we get another win. It looks like we've got five wins and four losses. So as we go into this last duel, we'll either break even or go six and four. I'm personally hoping we break... Er, I'm, I, I'm hoping we go six and four. I mean, at worst, we break even. So at least I did decently. It's Chris Strons and Master Rule 4 without Needle Fiber. We're, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> All right, tenth and final duel against Deus Volt, we're against the, the first crusade. You know, most of the crusades almost didn't fail. They, they were that important. We're gonna go ahead and start with our Mathematath. Ha-ha! Take that, the Lord! <laughs> most of the crusades failed. This one is no different. Uh, let's find a real tenth duel. <laughs> Ah, here we are, the real 10th duel versus my arch-nemesis player. He who plays and does not not play. Hmm? Huh? Ashpoo? Uh, let's go ahead. Set. 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 And pass, because we didn't start with Solfefnir. That last duel had a pretty good opening. Had some things we could have done. This time, not so much. Uh, while we're here, though, I did want to mention, because uh, I'm sure people will ask about Needle Fiber. Uh, a lot of people in the thing were like, is Needle Fiber, like, not good for Crystrons? It is so good for Crystrons. It is amazing for Crystrons. Well, no. Get out of here. I don't want you to do that. Well, then, you know, I'm going to mark that. Just in case, but we're gonna go. I'm gonna half mark that. We'll see if the other tenth duel is like, cause we're we're gonna have a tenth duel that's not activate a card win. <laughs> All right, here we are, the real, real tenth duel, aka the twelfth duel possibly, <laughs> versus this game, 
This game of mine glows with an awesome power, and we don't get to go first, but we have this, so we can... Well! Well then! This game, I tell you what, everyone! There, there are a lot of things I don't like about this game. Uh, well, you know what? We have the replays. We've been here... I've been here for three hours, at least. This episode's probably longer than that. It may be anticlimactic. I'm just gonna count them all as a win. You've seen pretty much everything this deck has to offer. Uh, and I'll just take another moment to be like, you know, Needle Fiber, uh, really good. Uh, completely changes up the way this deck plays. Well, uh, yeah, because you, you have an entirely different extra deck, and your extra deck choices actually change what you play in the main deck. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out when it comes in here. And then there's also that new, the Junk Advance or whatever, like, because these are all machines, you can play that. But as far as I know, there's no real spicy combos or anything you can do with that. Maybe you can summon a Synchro Tuner from the deck or something, because I know people are going to ask. I didn't plan for it because it was announced like a few days before this. But, uh, yeah, the new, the new Junk, uh, the, not Tuner, the new Junk Link. Uh, you can play it in here, I don't think it's any better than, like, Cliffhort Genius, but you could play it if you want to. Maybe add in some other synchros. But let's just go to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Christron Advantage 2018. We went 6-4. and four. There's a big asterisk near one of those wins because I counted three surrenders in a row as a win because I've just been here too long. But hopefully, you know, you get the idea. You had a fun time. You got to see an interesting deck. And you got to see how it plays. It's really just nice to see, like, a deck that can board wipe repeatedly. Even if... Uh, with the matchups we got, I couldn't necessarily do that every time. But it's cool that you can do that. You can make Christron during your opponent's turn. You actually have a toolbox of monsters. I don't think we ever use Samurai Destroyer, but this guy's really good. Same thing, same thing with Powered Insectatron. Just a bunch of cool whale force. Uh, so definitely, you know, I, if I could teach anyone just a little bit about Christrons, then I, I've done my job. Next week, I'm looking to play something much more simpler. I think, like I said, maybe Crusadia. Um, I might look at the new Valkyries or the Ninjas or something like that. Something newer that's come out. So, until then, good luck and have fun. Mm -hmm.